Hello viewers and welcome back to the Healthy Organic Recipes channel. Inflammation can be both good and bad. On one hand, it helps your body defend itself from infection and injury. On the other hand, chronic inflammation can lead to weight gain and disease. Stress, inflammatory foods, and low activity levels can make this risk even greater. However, studies demonstrate that some foods can fight inflammation. Here are 10 anti-inflammatory foods. 1. Broccoli. Broccoli is extremely nutritious. It's a cruciferous vegetable, along with cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Research has shown that eating a lot of cruciferous vegetables is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease and cancer. This may be related to the anti-inflammatory effects of the antioxidants they contain. Broccoli is rich in sulforaphane, an antioxidant that fights inflammation by reducing your levels of cytokines and NFKB, which drive inflammation. 2. Avocados Avocados may be one of the few supposed superfoods worthy of the title. They're packed with potassium, magnesium, fiber, and heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. They also contain carotenoids and tocopherols, which are linked to reduced cancer risk. In addition, one compound in avocados may reduce inflammation in young skin cells. In one study, when people consumed a slice of avocado with a hamburger, they had lower levels of the inflammatory markers NFKB and IL-6, compared with participants who ate the hamburger alone. 3. Green Tea You've probably heard that green tea is one of the healthiest beverages you can drink. It reduces your risk of heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, obesity, and other conditions. Many of its benefits are due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, especially a substance called epigallocatechin 3 gallate EGCG. EGCG inhibits inflammation by reducing pro-inflammatory cytokine production and damage to the fatty acids in your cells. 4. Berries Berries are small fruits that are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Although dozens of varieties exist, some of the most common include, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Berries contain antioxidants called anthocyanins. These compounds have anti-inflammatory effects that may reduce your risk of disease. Your body produces natural killer cells, NK cells, which help keep your immune system functioning properly. In one study in men, those who consumed blueberries every day produced significantly more NK cells than those who did not. In another study, adults with excess weight who ate strawberries had lower levels of certain inflammatory markers associated with heart disease. 5. Peppers Bell peppers and chili peppers are loaded with vitamin C and antioxidants that have powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Bell peppers provide the antioxidant quercetin which may reduce one marker of oxidative damage in people with sarcoidosis, an inflammatory disease. Chili peppers contain synapic acid and ferulic acid, which may reduce inflammation and lead to healthier aging. 6. Grapes Grapes contain anthocyanins, which reduce inflammation. In addition, they may decrease the risk of several diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, obesity, Alzheimer's, and eye disorders. Grapes are also one of the best sources of resveratrol, another compound that has many health benefits. In one study, people with heart disease who consumed grape extract daily experienced a decrease in inflammatory gene markers, including an FKB. What's more, their levels of adiponectin increased. Low levels of this hormone are associated with weight gain and an increased risk of cancer. 7. Mushrooms while thousands of varieties of mushrooms exist worldwide, only a few are edible and grown commercially. These include truffles, portobello mushrooms, and shiitake. Mushrooms are very low in calories and rich in selenium, copper, and all of the B vitamins. They also contain phenols and other antioxidants that provide anti-inflammatory protection. A special type of mushroom called lion's mane may potentially reduce low-grade, obesity-related inflammation. However, one study found that cooking mushrooms lowered their anti-inflammatory compounds significantly. Thus, it may be best to eat them raw or lightly cooked. 8. Fatty Fish Fatty fish are a great source of protein and the long-chain omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA. 
Although all types of fish contain some omega-3 fatty acids, the best sources of fatty fish include, salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel, and anchovies. EPA and DHA reduce inflammation that can lead to metabolic syndrome, heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. Your body metabolizes these fatty acids into compounds called resolvins and protectants, which have anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have found that people consuming salmon or EPA and DHA supplements experienced reductions in the inflammatory marker C-reactive protein CRP. However, in another study, people with an irregular heartbeat who took EPA and DHA daily experienced no difference in inflammatory markers, compared with those who received a placebo. 9. Turmeric Turmeric is a spice with a strong, earthy flavor that's often used in curries and other Indian dishes. It has received a lot of attention for its content of curcumin, a powerful anti-inflammatory nutrient. Turmeric reduces inflammation related to arthritis, diabetes, and other diseases. In fact, consuming 1 gram of curcumin daily combined with piperine from black pepper caused a significant decrease in the inflammatory marker CRP in people with metabolic syndrome. However, it may be hard to get enough curcumin to experience a noticeable effect from turmeric alone. In one study, women with excess weight who took 2.8 grams of turmeric per day showed no improvement in inflammatory markers. Taking supplements containing isolated curcumin is much more effective. Curcumin supplements are often combined with piperine, which can boost curcumin absorption by 2000%. 10. Tomatoes The tomato is a nutritional powerhouse. Tomatoes are high in vitamin C, potassium, and lycopene, an antioxidant with impressive anti-inflammatory properties. Lycopene may be particularly beneficial for reducing pro-inflammatory compounds related to several types of cancer. One study determined that drinking tomato juice significantly decreased inflammatory markers in women with excess weight, but not those with obesity. Note that cooking tomatoes in olive oil can maximize the amount of lycopene you absorb. That's because lycopene is a carotenoid, a nutrient that's better absorbed with a source of fat. Even low levels of inflammation on a chronic basis can lead to disease. Do your best to keep inflammation in check by choosing a wide variety of delicious, antioxidant-rich foods. Peppers, dark chocolate, fish, and extra virgin olive oil are just a few foods that can help you combat inflammation and reduce your risk of illness. To learn more about natural remedies and nutrition, please see our other videos. Thank you very much for watching. A like is always appreciated and remember to subscribe and tap the bell for more healthy videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.